everyone, this is April from my Scrapbooking and Craft Journal. Um, welcome to another episode of the Wild Card Cartridge Series. And today's card I am going to be making um, the carriage. And I've already pre-cut everything and the paper size I have used is 8.5 by 11. And 8.5 uh, by 11, fit the page, uh, comes to uh, 5.5 inches. So what I've done is I've cut out the the carriage and I cut it out in the black out feature and I cut out the envelope in its regular feature. I cut out the frame for the envelope. I cut out the uh, liner for Actually, the carriage. I did cut the I did cut the two icons here as well. I'm going to be um, placing them in the front to decorate. So here we go. So when you cut your envelope, this is how it's going to look. I used a K & Company um, paper for this particular one. And the color schemes I went with are for, um, for a boy with greens and blues. And um, because this is a double-sided paper, I'm not going to put a liner in here. So everything, um, I've already pre-scored. Pre all my lines and uh, we can and I wanted to make this the outside of my card and this being the inside of the card so I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna fold all my score lines I have to decide whether I want it to look like this or if I want it to look like this and to be honest with you I like it the other way around so what I'm gonna do is grab my glue here and uh, run glue this way and this way now what I'm doing is adding the frame for our envelope and what I wanted to do was uh, just dress ink the edges of the frame go all around and apply it um, only and then glue it to the back of our envelope and in the center you can write the uh, name of the person that you're giving this to or the name of the baby it's just an extra detail and I want to add a little bling in the center so here we have a finished envelope now moving on to our card here we have the baby carriage and um, here are the two small icons and also the liner. So I'm placing the liner um, onto the carriage and then I'm go what I'm going to be doing is placing the icons over, um, over on top. So the bow will be placed above and the rattle I wanted to place it on the inside of the, uh, on the inside of the carriage. But to give it a little bit more extra um, detail, I love buttons, so I added a nice um, uh, greenish blue button and um, and added a little bit more bling um, to my to my work. And here I'm gluing down the uh, the rattle and adding some more glue to the edge. And here you got it. I think that's so cute. And uh, to put a little bit more detail to this card, I decided to add a lot of bling. So I'm adding a two uh, Zig 2A glue um, to the bottom of the carriage. And this is Martha Stewart glitter. And I'm adding a lot of the glitter all around, making sure that I get it everywhere. As you will notice, I miss a spot. I go back and apply some more glue and try to add some more um, glitter on to it to complete. Now I'm still not quite finished. I wanted to add a, um, a sentiment in the front and I wanted to put celebrate. So with my Versa Magic blue ink and uh, my stamp magic so I get it properly centered onto my carriage, I have the word celebrate on there. And here you have it, a finished card, quick and simple um, with a matching envelope, perfect gift. Thank you for watching.